it from my heart, I really care about these people Gotta think twice before I think about spreading evil Guess I'm a mice, these niggas snakes, they tryna eat me But that ain't right on me, brother, you supposed to feed me Young nigga stayin' fly, I did eagle A nigga try me, run it back just like a sequel I'ma keep fighting till I What, what it do, GNV crew, crew, man? Y'all know who this is, man, man, G, man And it's your girl, V Today we are doing a Sonic Mukbang video We have two double bacon cheeseburgers Um, we have french fries, medium french fries I have a large Coke with light ice I got a uh, Oreo peanut butter shake and then we have um, Sonic Footlong Dogs. I have the New York um, Footlong. We got a chili and cheese Footlong right here. Yeah. But um, we're going to try each other's Sonic's uh, Dogs because I want to try and chew. Burger? Yeah, I told them we have a double double bacon and cheeseburger. Double is double, so but it's bacon and you know, it's a cheap burger. Right. So, you know. Um, Excuse the background noise if you do hear that. You know, that that's our neighbors. So please excuse that noise. Hopefully it's not interrupting it's the video. It's all day, every day, bro. All yeah. Day, every day. Hopefully it's not interrupting the video. We wanted to do this video in response to Black Lives Matter. And um, as you can see, we are sitting here and we are going to discuss a specific topic that I'm pretty sure each and every one of you know about already um but before we do we're gonna go ahead and try our food and feed our faces because we haven't eaten all day so we, we save our not eating all day just for this part of the day <laughs> of the day i'm sorry thank you pray for the god name of you thank you for the food job blessed us with it's covering your blood every good to our body let me just cross and pray amen amen Oh man, that noise is so worse today. It's all day every day though. It's literally worse. This is the hot dog right there. Let's do a thumbnail. We'll do a thumbnail for y'all, man. I'm gonna take out the burger too. Take mine out of the packs. Oh, you could have did it however you wanted. Well, yeah, I'm only in the packs. So I got to bring up my hand. Right now. Rock. All right, ready to eat? Yeah. I guess I'll break these in half. Let me take a bite of this burger first. Burger hitting though. I don't really like the chili. No. Mm -mm. But that's the only thing I ever got from Sonic. That's a, a hot dog, chili dog. Chili dog? Yeah, I ain't never get no regular. Mm. Boy, it's an aggravating topic to talk about though, cause your stuff been going on for years, man. Yeah. Back centuries, bro. The point is, when is it ever gonna stop? That's the thing, babe. I don't think it's ever gonna stop. Mm -hmm. It was gonna, if it was gonna stop, it would've been stopped. Man. But what is it gonna take for it to stop? Feel what I'm saying? Yeah. This world, first of all, is just full of hatred. Regardless this world is of corrupted. how you think, how you think it's gonna gonna be, 
you got people that just don't like us no matter what we do. Rest in peace, man. All the people who had to deal with this. Even though we're dealing with it, we still living. Rest in peace to all the people who lost their lives behind this nonsense, behind racism. Yeah. All the people who passed away because of our skin color, man. That's one thing that's, that's one thing all of us got in common. You feel what I'm saying? No matter how big our heart is, we still get racially profiled with whatever move we make. And it's not just the black men, it's the black women, it's, you know what I'm saying, the black women also. You know what I mean? You know, the disturbing, disturbing thing about this um, George Floyd case. Is that just how anyone, anyone, and I know this thing, like my husband said, been going on for years. Just how someone could take someone else's life on purpose as they're pleading, pleading for their lives. How can someone be that vile to take someone else's life and not feel bad for unknowing, knowing that they're hurting someone else, a life at that? I don't care what skin color you are, because we, we love you regardless of your skin color. So I don't think that it's appropriate for anyone to take someone else's life just because they want to or just because they feel like they need to prove a point because you have been hurting us for years after years our ancestors have been going through this for years people that are of different backgrounds you know, you don't have to be black. People that just are different than white people, they've been going through it for years, for years. And it's sad because you worrying about our skin tone or the color of our skin. You looking at the color of our skin and saying we're, we're different. How do we, how are we different just because the color of our skin is different than yours? No we same. are all people, we pump the same blood. We look, we, may not look alike but we are the same people that's what makes us unique you know what i mean is that we are all god's children we are all created from the same man to be created equally we all bleed the same color blood and it's just sad how 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 george was just pleading for his life yeah man that's and he screamed out for his mother you know that's serious. When that's the part. Crying out that's, the, that's the main part that got to me is just seeing this man right here sitting on the ground, you know what I'm saying? Basically helpless, hands behind his back. Not one, but four other cops. Like, how many of y'all do it take for one man, bro? Exactly. How many of y'all do it take for one man? They're scared. Scared. For one human being, bro. The man, the man didn't show no sense of danger, danger or harm. Or he wasn't a threat at all. He no, wasn't no showing sense of a threat. Period. Yeah, he wasn't showing any type of threat. But I see, you know, the dude already laying on the hall behind the concrete, hands behind his back in handcuffs. Three other dudes holding him down. Another character sitting, sitting there kneeling on the man's neck on purpose. With his hands in his pocket, so comfortable. What disturbed me as well about, about the video is, is is the fact that he's saying, well, get up, get up and get in the car. He's telling the man to get up off the ground, to get in a car. 
Now, who was, I don't know who was saying, I don't know if he was a bystander. I think he was the person who was recording, right? No, the cop was like, well, get up then. He was being disrespectful to Floyd. Floyd was saying how he can't breathe. I thought breathe. it was the man who was recording to have uh, proof and footage of it, just telling him to get up. He couldn't get up. He That's what I'm saying, down. but I don't think it was one of the cops who was saying that. Or he just sat there on the la on, on the man's neck. The dude was telling, he basically saying he can't breathe, he can't breathe. This is not the first time this happened. No. This ain't the first time I heard I can't breathe from a black person who's been killed by a cop. I just feel like, man, enough is enough, man. And I know all Caucasians are not like that. You know yeah. Just like all African Americans are not like me. You feel what I'm saying? But the thing about it, man, y'all need y'all fail to realize as human beings, bro. We are all created equally in God's image. You feel what I'm saying? And like, I'm not a racist person, but something gotta give. Like real talk, this stuff been going on way too long. And y'all sitting up here competing with y'all with, with, with y'all own race, killing your own race. You feel what I'm saying? And then you got another race out here who's looking at your race in a disgusting way and killing y'all off one by one, slowly. Like, what's it gonna take for y'all to open y'all eyes? I ain't even talking about them no more, I'm talking about y'all. What's it gonna take for y'all to open y'all eyes and see this whole situation that's going on in this world? <coughs> y'all hating one another, hating on one another, but you're still getting hated on by every other race out there who hates your skin color. Like, is this what my kids gonna have to go to th go through as well? The next generation, the next generation, the next generation. Like, when is it gonna stop, bro? Sure not. I don't know. All this right here is just disgusting to me, dog. I just don't understand it. And there have been so many cases. So, so many, many cases. so many. And guess what, it's still happening. Every day. It's still happening. Being pulled over for no reason because of your skin color, because of your image, your specific image. It's so, it's so many deaths that didn't happen because of racism that hasn't been caught on camera. Feel what I'm saying? Y'all see, y'all just seeing the stuff that's caught on camera, but y'all ain't thinking about the stuff that's happening off camera to the people who you know, didn't have no bystanders to record for them or the people who, you know what I'm saying, got pulled over on them back roads in the middle of the night or late at night, who end up missing because they got pulled over. You know what I mean? But there's no evidence on, on, on those cases. I'm talking about innocent people. You just don't know, like this. This it's 2020, man. This is still going. This is still happening. Our ancestors before our ancestors was going through this. I'm talking about way back. I'm 28 years old, bro, and I can remember, you know, going. I, I can remember going through stuff at a young age. You know, being called. N word at a young age before I even know what the N word meant about a race, a racist person. You feel what I'm saying? And now I have kids of my own. Oh, this just disgusts me, man. It's disgusting. And from my heart, I really care about his people. Gotta think twice before I think about spreading evil. Guess I'm a mice, these niggas snakes, they trying to eat me. But that ain't right on me, brother, you supposed to feed me.